Okay, welcome to this, the <clears throat> Dutch Splash Awards 2020. This one is slightly different than we used to. Usually we have a big hall full of people clapping and we can hand out physical uh, great blue bubbles with prizes. However, with COVID we can't. So we're doing it online today. And if you want to tweet about that, you will find the Splash Awards hashtag and for uh, taking track of the results and the eventual um, reports, you can see on splashawards.nl. So this is the sixth edition, 2020, and we're currently live at the Drupal Jam reboot. We have one great sponsor that made this possible, and that is Open Social. Woo! Thank you, Open Social, for being able to have us organize a great Splash Awards here at the Drupal Jam reboot. Also, thank you to the jury. We have a very special jury this year. We have six people, all really skilled and capable and uh, different than last year, uh, all are female this, this year. Good thing. And they had a really tough time. We had like total 32 cases to read by and check and they had a specific uh, task is look for uh, accessibility, how the look and the feel and the designs of the websites are and how the um, interactions go down and how you can actually make uh, Drupal great in that uh, perspective. And the <clears throat> Splash Awards, they celebrate the best uh, work and put the clients on the stage and uh, celebrate our great projects and successes. So if you are a client in the room and your case comes by, uh, feel free to jump in um, so that we can um, have your opinions and your uh, great co-celebration on this. Raise your hand and give your comments and feedback about the project, yes. So let's start with the first category, design and user experience. There has been 11 cases submitted. Woo. Woo -hoo. And then you can find for my speaker notes. Should be around. No. They're gone. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, no problem. I can read them. I got them. You want me? I can proceed. Yeah, let's start with this one so I can catch up and find. Okay, so first project is uh, establishing a premium brand among leading European architects. So it's like a Sparrow by Yun Inc. So it's a. Uh, the, with mobile wall systems that meet the highest standards, Sparrow is a household name in the Dutch market and active in many others. So to support the increased efforts abroad, they needed an online experience that could appeal to an international crowd. Uh, working with a strategy agency, the Terras, uh, we redesigned Sparrow's online presence to better reflect values and premium products. Yes, and what we found out from the jury report is that it's a pretty interesting, cool project built in React and that uh, Unink Inc, uh, they built their own uh, React module uh, ecosystem, which is currently on uh, their gitlab.unink.nl in the pop folder. So I hope that they would migrate all of that when it's totally released and done to Drupal.org. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, so this one is uh, Hertz Netherlands by Aubergine IT. So one of the largest consumer to consumer trading platform uh, for designer items uh, was in need of a new platform. Uh, Drupal fit the design like a globe and the end result is a beautiful new trading platform that makes the user happy and gives overview and insights for the owners. And while doing this, they 
contributed some good patches to Drupal.org, which is always important. Yes, next one. It, that's the senior uh, service uh, by GrowUp. Uh, oh. Senior service has been uh, providing professional information care since 1995. The company, the completely new identity and uh, developed website and online platform where everything comes together and with success. It's uh, at its launch, it uh, rocketed up at 300% conversion rate. So that's a great, great achievement. And the, there wasn't, weren't that many patches or add-ons to Drupal.org, but what they did, they generated a great movie for the jury to look at while judging it. Go for the next one. Cool. So Cordil by Tang U uh, U R. That's so ours in Dutch. Ah, ours. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, Cordil Group MV is an independent family of business with uh, 1,600 employees and an annual turnover of 650 million euros. With groups in Belgium, they have grown to become a major European player. A Cordil Group consists of 11 companies and is located in four countries and operates in even 11 countries. Uh, they have realized their own corporate website for Belgium, Netherlands, Serbia, and Bulgaria. And in but, generating this, there were not any contributions to Drupal.org. However, the project was great. Let's go for the next one. Cool. Uh, the next one is uh, Battery by Burst. Um, Battery is a leading Dutch chain with 46 uh, bathroom showrooms, uh, stands uh, for design perfection and flawless delivery, right down to the smallest details. After a strategic uh, repositioning of the brand, Battery asked Burst to develop a new digital brand strategy. And so Burst did. And while doing so, they found out seven different kind of patches which needed to be applied to Drupal.org. Cool. And uh, Neo Fortress Energy is a fully integrated global provider of natural gas fuel energy solutions. The company develops and operates critical energy infrastructure and provides supply and logistics services to customers around the globe helping end users convert their operation uh, assets from oil-based fuels to natural gas. I've got one tip from the jury here. Uh, that is a pretty solid website and there is an improvement point on the scroll latency. It's pretty high and if you have a lower scroll latency, it would be better for uh, the U UX mm -hmm. and accessibility. Cool. Then we jump to the Caro NCRV, which is a Dutch uh, broadcasting agency on television. And Synetic uh, developed a modular um, Drupal 8 website uh, for social cultural media company um, that digitally translates the company's ideas about uh, meaning, a, a more uh, connected society and sustainability with a design system in place and more fluent thematic content referrals. <clears throat> the new and future-proof website um, broadens the public, public perspective and breaks through the also um, mentally, we, yeah, within the organization. Silo, yeah. Silo mentally, yeah. yeah. Okay, and while doing so, there were some important patches to core and country. Oh, cool. So one project more for the design category, Calo Fit, started with a zero sugar, um, zero percent fat sauces and for exporters, and has grown as a popular brand which stands out for uh, its competitors. Calo Fit uh, needed a new brand identity and design that represented the playful and daring approach and goal fit their, you know, the global product distribution. 
their new multilingual website is the base for communication in their fast expanding business. And while doing so, uh, there were some patches applied uh, to Drupal contract modules. Mm -hmm. This is the last one from this category. Uh, no, if I'm... Is, the, is the last one? Yeah, from this category, if I remember correctly. Um, <clears throat> so this is about rockhall.com and it's made by uh, Media Monks and uh, they collaborated on the development uh, of their new main web platform in Drupal. Oh. Rockethall.com takes the history and unique uh, legacy of rock and roll music into the future-proof digital world, opening its digital doors to, for the fans worldwide. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a digital uh, transformation journey served as a sign of the times on the of the times on that became important as we now have COVID-19. Some patches were applied to Drupal in order to get this rolling. Cool. Yo, there's one more. Yes. Rotterdam is growing and needs more houses. Yeah, I guess that's a problem worldwide. Huh? The public opinion is that the city is not doing enough and only invests in expensive projects. This is not the case. Therefore, in close collaboration with Rotterdam Councilor Bas Kerbers, uh, we develop a platform on which we provide insights in all the building projects in Rotterdam for those who live there as well, who build the city. It's like a stat makers. Yes, yeah, stat makers are city builders. And while making this project, uh, then uh, Swiss did a really cool thing. They built their own uh, mappy uh, uh, on top of the CMS. So it's like uh, the, the mapping, which you see, like the, the maps, uh, they're an open source uh, tool, which is currently there at swiss.nl slash mappy. And in the second quarter of 2021, that will be fully ready and released as an open source product. Cool. That's amazing. That's a good contribution. Yes. Well, maybe this is the last one. <laughs> yes. It's all about coffee. <laughs> Another Media Monks uh, project. That's cool. They presented a lot of them. So, Media Monks, together with Starbucks, collaborated on creation of a multi site, single code based platform, which accommodates the corporate company requirements in terms of dynamic products representation interactive regional store finder and of course the most complex part the user account sections which gives all necessary centralized tools to access orders history financial assets and uh, stuff and while doing so another set of patches were applied to drupal.org yes we like contributions so now we get to the ooh. Intentional part, uh, the runner-up. The runner -up. So the second best website in the category design and UX is <laughs> Starbucks <laughs> by Media Monks. Congratulations, Media Monks. One you will get, you will get the, the blue Druplicon shipped to your uh, office cool then we go to the most interesting part of this design and ux category Brrr, who is the winner who is the daniel winner <laughs> Brrr, cordel by team ur congratulations Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. is there Stand any up. from corn uh, cordel in the room that wants to join uh, jump on stage or any customer. Or customer, even better. That is using the project. It was to complain. Niels. <laughs> I, I have to click on Niels. Let me see where he is. Oh. Okay. Can I do that here? No. Invite to the video call. But that will be personal. It should be in the bottom. Do you see Niels there? Yeah, I can see Niels, but I don't know how to invite him. If it's you just... click on the plus in the middle, then it's there. I don't see him yet. I'm searching. Oh. I can click invite to be the call. Yes, but then you get a personal call? No. Ah, it's a private meeting room, no? Yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why? So this should be in the bottom part. 
Hmm. Hmm. Nils, you're here now. Ah, yay! <laughs> right from uh, from the attic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Welcome. So first thank of you. all, congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. We're uh, really glad to uh, to have won the uh, Design and UX uh, Award for Splash Awards. Thank you. And cool. What was your biggest challenge in this project? Uh, one of our biggest challenges was, um, uh, especially because Cordell is a company which uh, uh, has multiple uh, branches throughout uh, uh, the world. Um, they would like to share their big project, uh, which you can see in the screen, and uh, share them uh, selectively. So every single um, branch can say, I want this project from the Netherlands on our Bulgarian website. Um, so share this all with uh, with each other and still have uh, a website that looks really clean uh, and makes the pro uh, photographs uh, of the projects uh, really shine. So I think we'll, uh, we uh, did a pretty good job at it. So. Cool, really nice. We see a lot on, on all the submissions that, that there's quite some from building, architectural, and for environmental planning and that whole sector is like growing at this point before it was yeah. like difficult but now it's growing it's good yeah yeah it's really good and uh, they have really beautiful uh, uh, photographs uh, to uh, be presented on a, on a drupal website like this so uh, really glad uh, glad to have uh, cordial as uh, our customer cool mm -hmm. thank you so Bye. much a quest quick question from yeah. my side um i assume that it's a multilingual side right Yes, uh, yes. Are you use any domain access management or something to limit the, the you know the editorial you know you know permissions to, in order to edit? No, no, we uh, chose to have uh, a multi-site setup. So uh, these are all shared code bases, but all uh, are all uh, separate databases. Um, we use uh, the JSON API and migrations API to um, uh, get all, all our data from one uh, single um, uh, Drupal installation. So this is uh, how we make sure that everything is really separate from each other. So cool, great. Thank you and congratulations again. Yes, thank you very much. We uh, are shipping. If I know. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say I'm uh, I'm just going to check which button I need to use so without leaving the splash awards. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We have to yes. kick kick you out from this, but we don't know how to do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, in, uh, on the other side, uh, we are shipping the prize to your place, right, or to your offices. Yes. I don't know. Okay. So. All right. It will be great if you can take a picture with the prize or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that. <laughs> The, the top uh, right corner, you have a little leaf button. Yes, oh, perfect. Yes. All right. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so should we jump into the next category? Yes, sure. That will be getting smart. It's yes. all about education. And in here, three cases were submitted. So let's see what they are. So we start with the first one. Yes. Yeah, so this one is Ruinte OK, like yes. a knowledge center. That's it's space, uh, Ruinte, yes. Ruinte, uh, yeah, it's by React Online. So, uh, briefing, climate change, reducing the CO2, classroom, classroom sustainability. These are the themes school administrators and school building owners have for the next um, years. Ruinte OK, uh, no, uh, provides a knowledge platform that guides the stakeholders with this transition. So it's an environmental friendly website for educational purposes. That's cool. Yes, and uh, no patches were needed for this one. Oh. So that's good. Uh -huh. Then we jump to the next one, um, which is a study in Holland, the official starting point for studying in Holland for uh, Nufib by uh, one shoe, difficult client name, but that's no problem. Yes. And they make, <clears throat> they're making a large amount of information about studying in the Netherlands, easy available to future uh, international students with its technic technically complex environment. 
That was the challenge for the development of studyinholland.nl. The Study in Holland website achieved both and had become the starting point for all international students who consider the Netherlands as their place for studying. And while developing this, uh, it's interesting because this, there was a specific uh, module developed for DRUSH, the DRUSH lock module, which you can find on drupal.org. And this project also, because of the huge amount of information, needed several patches to contrib as well as core. Uh -huh. So great achievement here. Cool. Okay, and the last one in this category, we didn't have so many submissions, sadly, for the occasion, but uh, still very, really valuable. So, Bervan Gins uh, font, <laughs> mostly. And, the replacement for Fang font. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the participating funds uh, are funds established in the 90s in the education sector. So the goal of the funds is to reimburse and control the replacement and unemployment costs in primary education. The service of both funds is in line with each other, and it was the, this was the main reason the funds renewed their joint corporate identity and decided to merge the two separate websites. Yep. This uh, project is by Barst. And now we need to decide Ooh. Mr. Banner, up for, for education. education. Well, yeah. we, we don't need to decide that because we had a very skilled jury that already decided upon that. So we yeah. can just announce the, <laughs> the runner up. <laughs> that is Study in Holland, the official Ooh. starting point for studying in Holland by Wanshu. Great. Cool. Congratulations, Wanshu. Now we jump to the winner. Ooh. <laughs> Who is the winner in the category? Education. Run to OK by React Online. Do we have maybe a client from there in the audience? We have not any React. Ah, we have oh. a mask hero joining us. A face mask. Yeah, we're face. joining you from backstage of the Triple Jam organization. So let me see where the guys are. All right. Cool. Nice. What we are doing so a little preview on the event. Cool. Wow, our first one. Is your first prize? Yes. The first. Oh, congratulations. Thank That's you. Really Thank you. Yes. It's great. Awesome. Amazing. And any highlights? Any something that you want to highlight from the project? Well, I think that. Uh, uh, the experts uh, that are logging in and 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 sharing their knowledge uh, with uh, with other um, uh, school management, uh, helping them uh, to achieve their goals is is one of the highlights. So they have their own environment where they can uh, publish uh, uh, their cases and and therefore share their knowledge. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. that's mostly the it. Cool project, and uh, uh, it's running now for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, so we'll keep uh, updating it and uh, making sure that everyone gets the road to a uh, to a cleaner world mm -hmm. and a better environment for our children. So very cool. Cool. Uh, are you using any specific format or standard for the learning materials, or is something? No, we, we, we built from scratch um, and, and it's in a, in a, a multi-site environment, multi-domain environment, so there are a couple of uh, labels on it so cool. we can present uh, certain projects uh, um, very specific on an own uh, URL. Yep. Uh -huh. That's really good. Um, right. While it's running for 10 years, I'm curious, did you already have like a short-term plan to migrate this to Drupal 9 and then 10 and so on? Yeah, it's on Drupal 8, so uh, we have uh, checked uh, the modules used, uh, if we can uh, upgrade them. And we're now in the, in the running for uh, upgrading our platform uh, to the new uh, uh, versions of uh, PHP. So we have everything ready, and then we can uh, migrate to uh, Drupal 9. So a little bit of thinking uh, to do, but uh, in, in general, we're good to go. Awesome. Thank you. All right. 
Wow, thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. And I'm uh, going backstage again to make sure that we have an amazing Drupal Jam. All right, yeah. see you later, guys. Up and running. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good. So now we jump to the next category. Boom. Government and, and NGO. NGO. So everything that happens with mine and your taxpayers' money. money. <laughs> <laughs> in here we have eight cases, and there's some really interesting ones in there. So let's jump in. Cool. Okay. So I do the second yeah. one because it's Dutch. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. this is called the uh, Monumenten Passport, which is like a monument passport. So if you have a building, which is a monument, and you have documentation on top of that, and you get a little bit of money from the government to have this thing pretty in the city and not breaking down. And the, um, the province of Zeeland, yeah, this is in the south of the Netherlands, um, has more than 3,500 national monument, monuments. Uh, the majority of these buildings are non sustainable or could be drastically improved quite a challenge specifically now that energy transition has been become such importance Erfgoed Zeeland like the heritage of Zeeland uh, inspects and advises homeowners and uses this tool with allows them to inspect the houses and create reports and increase the sustainability so this project makes Sealand more pretty and more sustainable and there were some contributions to the issue queue for it interesting let's go so jump into the next one kumela is a communication platform for sector organization with member section and CRM integration by finalists finalists created the website including the my environment ninja and Kumela, based on the guidelines, designs, and wireframes made by the design, design agency. The old website uh, with four subdomains have been uh, integrating, integrated into one domain. There were actually patches for table field and cookie bot uh, projects. Mm, cookies. <laughs> All right. We see that a lot. There's quite some that uh, websites that work with the CookieBot module. I didn't use it yet, so I have to check it out. We like cookies, we like bots. I like bots, so it must be fun. <laughs> so now we go to your digital DHAKE city guide by Flink. Mm -hmm. the, the Hague Marketing Bureau, part of the Hague and partners, asked Flink. Uh, to create a totally new concept for their city marketing website, denhaag.com. Um, as the Hague-based uh, agency, we have very, been very proud to take this challenge on, on the project in. In collaboration with the client, uh, we created a new strategy concept and a design and developed a dynamic and personalized tourism platform for the royal residents. And there's one thing very particular about that. If you look at the slide, Ruben, we see something that we really like. Like there's the Hard Beach Quicksilver Surf School. <laughs> Impressive, lovely. Let's continue. Cool. B Network, an integrated platform for online communication with the public library network, also by finalists. Uh, Koning Klitschke Bibliotech, maybe? Koning Klitschke, uh, Royal, yeah. Yeah, cool. Launched a specialized website for the professional network, uh, working on integration of information that is currently spread over 22 different channels. Finalists provided a completely new concept, UX, visual design, and technical implementation. The primary added value are role-based perspectives, so the visitor can quickly find everything that's important for their work. There are some patches, contributions, uh, not specified, right? But uh, there were some contributions, you know, during the development of this project. Yes. Then we have uh, Ivago, uh, from waste collection to digitally supported sustainability by Drop Solid. 
And that's the future proof and sustainable waste policy is in the heart of Ivago's mission. Uh, to achieve this, both internal, internal efficiency and optimal information sharing with citizens are key. Digital transformation, including a corp complete overhaul of the existing platforms and an online a consumption portal, consultation portal, sorry, uh, would prove to be the way forward. We built the new Drupal 8 website uh, with an integrated online citizen portal. And there was some interesting uh, development here that uh, Drop Solid created a rocket ship ecosystem, meaning that in order to have a likewise products, there is an installation profile with modules and teams. So it's really interesting to check that one out on Drupal.org. Yeah, I gave it a try and it's really good. It's, uh, it has some pre-made paragraphs and configuration. It's pretty handy, really well structured. So yeah, I cool. agree. It's cool. 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 Okay, next one. This is also a long one, uh, yes. so get, get hold. At Spark Blue Communities of Practice, UNGP by Open Social or Sponsor. So United Nations, United Nations Development Program uh, was in need of integrating internal and external communication between the UNDP staff and external partners to seamless, uh, seam seamlessly collaborate across platforms. We have created, or they have created actually, a series of integrations for their suite of tools that includes Microsoft Office 365, Yammer, and Delve, as well as many others, like a circumventing redundancy of content and systems as a consequence. Patches and new functions in open social that has been contributed during the development of this project. Uh, a few of them, like custom content list blogs, ability to follow taxonomy and receive notifications about the related content. This is a pretty handy one, like subscribe to taxonomy term and then you get notifications from, you know, it's pretty cool. And ability to filter activity string on a specific tag. And so, really cool, yes, really good. These last two features are part of the iOS uh, latest uh, deployment, meaning that open social can now do also notifications properly within the iOS devices. So that's awesome. great achievement there for, for the ecosystem. Oh, definitely, yes. Then we go to um, slimmerbuer.nl, so smart neighbor, uh, where neighborhoods, uh, neighbors advise each other about their saving energy. And it's made for uh, the client called here, which here, and it's built by a uh, Swiss. Uh, Climate Foundation here and Swiss have been working together for years. Uh, here helps consumers to make smart choices that are also a benefit for the climate, a mission to our hearts. Earlier, we made uh, here.nu uh, with green power checker. Hier opgewekt.nl and hier verwarmd.nl and slimmerbuur.nl. The website uh, where neighbors advise each other about saving energy. And this also the same as the one before by uh, Swiss uh, has the new uh, MAPI uh, open source tool that will be delivered early next year. Cool. Okay, um, the last in this category, but not the least, the Berker song der Neming, uh, maybe That's mobility Helux test by Atom. You, you know what you just said? That's uh, traffic entrepreneur uh, okay. and the mobility happiness test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Gallup is the happiness. Awesome. Yes. Cool. Uh, Berke is uh, pretty much uh, close to Swedish, you know, Berket, traffic Berket is like a vehicle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Okay. The way you travel affects your happiness. There's a lot of anger drivers. Yes. How much it does? So it's research with the mobility happiness test. 
an intelligent, accessible, and interactive chat gets people from all groups, origins, and ages to fill and complete the questionnaire. Interesting concept. Mm -hmm. Really cool. I'm going to take it and see if I'm an angry driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go for the runner up. Yes, let's see what happens here. Go to this one. For the government and NGO, the second prize goes to. Trivago by Drop Solid. Congratulations, Ooh. Drop Solid. But the winner. We jump into the winner. For government and NGO, <laughs> goes to Spark Blue by Open Ooh. Social. Impressive. Is there one, one is... from Open Social in the audience to jump in or client, hopefully? Any representative of our sponsors here? There is no, you know, no link between a sponsor and price and winner. No, no link. Okay. Our hands are totally clean. We have a jury. They decided. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. No taco. No taco. No taco today. No taco night. Not yet. No, it's Friday tacos. So, so we... no one from Open Social. Maybe Lauri, want to you want to say something? <laughs> <I'm Okay>. sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we continue as ah, short uh, van der this is in the house. Ah, great. Let's ping ping him. Maybe he's uh, taking a coffee or something. And then I say hello to Buddy. I see you in the stream. Hey. But not in the room. Not yet. Not in the room. Okay. Okay. We are going to continue. If you if you happen to to be from Open Social and want to say some words, yes. Just raise your hand. We will and invite or, you. Or come back at the end where we see your the slide again with the, the logo for the sponsor. We can do a little yeah. chat there. No problem. Or, or, or take a picture with the prize when you receive it. Okay. Up to you. Okay. Next category, tools and apps. We have uh, four submissions in this category. First one being um, the Hearst kiosk by uh, Aubergine IT. Hearst is one of the largest publishers in the Netherlands and the leader uh, with various magazines such as Jan Vogue, National Geographic magazine, Runner's World and Quest. Using Drupal Commerce and domain access, we have developed 24 different web shops in a multi-domain environment. This enables them to manage the, uh, the entire Hearst portfolio from one central content management system and in order to do so there were several patches applied this is a yeah, just a quick note this is a really smart way of doing a e-commerce platform you're using the main access and also spread you know splitting the uh, like a multi-vendor or multi-shop mm. you know it's pretty good i like it yep good good let's go to the next one this next is one. Real, real interesting one Yes, definitely. Yes, this is media print online, like MBD uh, by M M M MBD Biblion by Atom. This is a well-known and recognizable labels on library books nowadays. Comes from a Drupal web application. So, meaning that this application the, is for printing the you know these uh, small sheets for for booking. Uh, books, right, in a library, yeah. Yep. Atom updated the Windows application on CD to an online service. So they, they, they moved from an old school desktop Windows application <laughs> into a proper web-based application. This is really cool. Yeah. So now Drupal can print all the book covers, uh, labels. Uh -huh. hmm. The next one. Okay, this is not interesting. We can skip it. Yes. <laughs> no, yes, go ahead and explain it because it's your baby. Yes, it is a, a video calls platform for Slachtofferhulp Netherlands. And this project um, 
makes the employees and clients of Slachtofferhulp Netherlands uh, able to have uh, and plan safe and secure video calling with Drupal 9. The privacy, security, and accessibility reasons uh, Slachtofferhulp choose for uh, Jitsi Meet video platform. And with COVID-19 happening, uh, we had to deploy that really, really quickly. And so that they could continue their important world the work of supporting, uh, I think it was about 150,000 victims in the Netherlands with uh, support. And what happened to make this project, uh, there was a new module created that made uh, Jitsi Meet JWT, JWT access tokens via Drupal. So if you have an account in Drupal, you just jump in with your email, your picture and your uh, namespace and you can directly uh, continue to do your meetings. I have seen it in action. So yes. it, it works and it's really good. Next one. Cool. Let's go quickly. Baris is already nagging us that we're so low. So let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deployment Matters Technology Catalog by Avon. This platform bridged the gap between suppliers, end users, and deploy deployment experts of energy technology. Technology end users will have technologies at their finger fingertips to improve their business output, and it helps suppliers to market and show their technologies. This is important in these times of rapid change in both technology and the energy industry itself. Yes. Some contributions to the Soho CRM integration module and the cookie bot again, and the user switch. Very well done. So, run it up. Oh, run it up for tools and apps. <laughs> <laughs> Media print online. Impressive. By Congratulations. Atom. I really like this one. It's cool. And now we go for the winner in tools and yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yay. Ah, uh, okay. Right now we are gonna talk to the jury seriously. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to get on stage. We already explained. We can continue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, should, should we ask you any question? Or we should, no, let's we... let's go to the last category so that uh, oh, okay. we, we we finish in time. Is the last one already? Oh, I'm pretty sad. We're going, getting into the last. Okay. So accessibility. accessibility. This is one of the most wonderful categories because this is actually this takes care of everybody. You know, so everybody should have access to a website. Should should be able to you know, to browse a website, you know, accessibility is key in these days. So accessibility.nl foundation by Lehman Hrun. Stitching Accessibility, the Dutch Accessibility Foundation, is the center of expertise in the field of digital accessibility in the Netherlands. Their own website is the entrance point for companies and organizations who want to learn about the why and how of digital inclusivity and should thus be perfectly accessible. The A11Y, or Ali, or I mean, actually accessibility, you know, from, uh, group. Uh, sorry, the, 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 the module, uh, A11Y module for Drupal uh, was contributed. Um, it's called Form Helper, Helpers Module. I hope that I was clear. Yes, and that will help all of us uh, providing better accessibility it's cool, a, a module to help the helpers to help, etc. Anyway, <laughs> there we go to uh, From Waste to Energy, Accelerating the Transition with HVC by Unk Inc. Unk Inc. Unk Inc. Yes, uh, HVC believes a future in which energy is clean and raw materials are being reused um, to lead the way. They are transforming themselves from a residual waste incidenter to a sustainable energy company. But HPC cannot do this without the residents. Therefore, we sat down with HPC to inform and inspire and mobilize the people to help spread the tra transition, starting with a completely new website. And multiple uh, patches were applied to create this, uh, specifically to uh, Geofield, EO cookies, mm, cookies, or cookies. <laughs> Coder, Drush Tan, uh, 
um, cache queue ignore and the voting API. Oh, this good contributions. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, unified digital Drupal platform for Turing by DrapSolid. Turing's digital presence considered of a Drupal environment. Con sorry, consisted of a Drupal environment. It was no longer up to date with the appropriate security and integration standards. The existing infrastructure was not ready for Turing's digital roadmap for the future. So DrapSolid built a new corporate website in Drupal 8. This allows Drupal to act as the middleware that could integrate all the existing applications. Uh, some contributions in the taxonomy in an issue, taxonomy terms redirects to the homepage when the default language disabled. That was uh, solved. Uh, and the issue query parameters get lost on redirect was also fixed during the development of this project by DropSolid. Pretty well done. Mm -hmm. So we jump to the next one. Um, accessible new website for Vervangings fonts and a participatory font by Burst. I'm not sure if that's allowed to like send it twice, but I'll put it anyway. Um, <laughs> so that, that we already had that. Vervangings fonts and uh, participatory fonts are uh, funds established in the 90s, and the goal is to um, uh, uh, replacement and unemployment cost and then improve the education. Yeah. And yeah, so these two websites got merged, and that's this is the result. Mm -hmm. Cool. Last one, but not the least, uh, with the vital role of technology in our lives, digital accessibility should be a right for everyone. A Drupal website for local, this is a Drupal website for a local tax agency by CPIX. The GBLT website in this case has nothing to do with the gay community, but has everything to do with inclusion. No one likes to pay taxes, I don't like it, but local tax agency GBLT um, strips to make this as convenient, as personal, and as inclusive as possible. Their fully accessible website allows all users, so that includes people with disabilities, to deal with their tax uh, issues online. So this is to make it easier for people to pay taxes. Smart move, really good, CPIX. And no contributions were needed in order to realize this. Yeah, that the... you must improve on that one. More contributions. Yes. So now we go to the runner up. Runner up. Our accessibility <laughs> is, boom. Just... Unique Inc. for the website for the, the, the from waste to energy accelerating the transition with HVC. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. And now the winner for accessibility is <coughs> boom accessibility.nl by Limun Groen. Oh my god, congratulations, buddies and the rest of the team. Congrats. Lovely. I'm happy that you Get got this. Boris in here because he was anxious to make it on time. Yes, yes. Then you have one minute only. <laughs> Do we see him or no? Yeah, he's here. No? Have you seen him? No, I, I see him, seen him in the chat, but not in the moderation thing. There is some assignment. Or maybe Marlus. Or Marlus. Or, or yes. you have a client maybe. Oh. Who knows? Ah, here we are. Let's add Baris. Let's see what happens. Press your hand. Ah, Baris. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know that I had to ask for permission. So, uh, yeah, uh, just a few words. I'm very grateful that we won the prize. It was um, uh, one of the projects that I really wanted to build um, the moment they uh, approached us to to deliver an RFP, uh, to a, a proposal. Uh, like, we needed this project. We wanted to do the project. Um, as as leading foundation in the Netherlands for the WCAG. Um, I had a great team that worked on the project, Malouz, uh, Tessa at the time, Heine. Um, it took a while to, to build the project, to to, to get it like um, published. We we finished the website like uh, about about half a year ago and then it took months for the <laughs> to go to the website to go live. But, all good. It's live now, and I'm very happy with the end results. Uh, the previous website was over 12 years old, 
Uh, so they really needed a new website and uh, I think it's a great website, great example. Mm -hmm. So, yep, thank you. Uh, and one quick question, uh, we have the still time. Uh, what was the most complex, uh, you know, accessibility issue that you had to, you know, develop or, you know, or to solve? I'm not sure if there was one issue. We had uh, several issues with the forms. Um, during the project, we even uh, uh, Tessa, Tessa built a, mo a module that is shared as a control module in Drupal.org, so the accessibility form helpers module uh, to make the, for example, the status messages, the error messages that pop up uh, on top of a form if you have an error, um, that a screen reader uh, will correctly read them out. Yes. That's an example that didn't work pretty good in Drupal core at the time, maybe now it does, but at the time um, we, we wrote some custom codes to make that better. And that module is now down, uh, available at, uh, at Drupal.org. And that's an example. Um, like the, 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 at the client, we had some pretty uh, smart people, the experts that test websites on accessibility, but they know every and they kept testing uh, our website. And, uh, and, and we were like really nice uh, partnership with them to improve the quality of the website, to, to improve our knowledge. Um, for example, as part of the of the proposal, we had a deal with them that instead of them having to pay everything, we um, had some team members um, being able to, to follow a training at their offices. Uh, to, so it was a bar bartering uh, as part of the proposal, and that was, I think, a really nice way to 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 let have both parties, the client and the development agency, say, "Well, let's do this together and let's make great website." Mm. Um, and it was really fun working with the project on the project. Cool. Really Congratulations nice. and thank you again for your contributions. I guess this is beneficial for the whole community. Really good. Thank you. Cool. Enjoy today. Likewise. Bye. You too. Okay. I All guess right. we are jumping into the, the end, right? Well, there's one little category, the best Ooh. website ever for this year Ooh. that still has to come. Not so one of these great designs probably the one in the bottom left will be sent to the winners and the runner-ups so you can represent that and donate one to give one to your client uh -huh. so let's go for the one that we're waiting for the website of the year or for 2020 oh my god are you ready for this <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> boom that is spark blue community uh, Communities of Practice for UDMP by Open Social. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, it's Taco in the house for the best website ever in 2020. Uh, sure, this. Sure this. Open this is a great moment. This is the best website in 2020. It's the worst year in the, I don't know, <laughs> probably in this century. <laughs> I don't know. No yes. open social representatives, any customer? Uh, sure, sure it is in the... Mm -hmm. Stefano Tavarelli. Ah, here. Here, here we see it. And, and uh, short van der Dijk is here. Yes, let's click on one. Yes. Boom. Let's in. Uh, we are inviting you, no, no worries. Yes. And if there is any UNDP, you know, representative customer, oh, yeah. hey! There we are. <laughs> Thanks, awesome. For winning like two awards in one day that's perfect yeah definitely how do you feel well it's Best awesome website. it's like like using open social to get these kind of platforms up and running is awesome and especially with a customer like united nations it's perfect to do so impressive Great. perfect cool thanks so, thank you we have still three minutes so a yeah. uh, quick question so what are the what is the best functionality that you are releasing now for open social? I mean, we know that you are doing a lot of cool things, but which is which is the one that you will highlight for this year? Like, ah, this is the best of the best. Uh, where at the moment we just published the latest version, which contains a lot of accessibility improvements. So that's also awesome. Um, next to that, we're now working on decoupling our backend and frontend. So uh, well, that's quite a big oh. job actually. So uh, that's uh, the biggest task at, at hand for the upcoming for this uh for this uh this year so uh let's uh, look forward and uh, improve the product even more 
Mm. Yeah, but the, if you could manage the decoupling, definitely it's going to be one really big step. Yeah, forward yeah. Yeah, we have to take that uh, time, but uh, like like piece by piece, uh, like do it progressively. Otherwise, like doing everything in one go is going to be mayhem. So <laughs> cool. Yes. Thanks, and congratulations. Thanks, guys. Also, thanks again for sponsoring. And awesome. we have one little Easter egg uh, inside uh, the the conference. Uh, if you have this QR code, and uh, it's also linked in the program, uh, you can create a photo op like this. So you have the the branded stripes with your face in it, and in the end, we're going to combine this as one huge, humongous poster. So everybody, if you if you have some time in between, make a nice go to this URL, make some nice photo op, and then you can join. Then you then you are at, in the eventual uh, real life poster. So that's all, folks. We have this is the the end slide, and we have like let's say half a minute left. You can make a selfie, maybe. Okay, take a few minutes, or no, no minutes, even seconds, you know, to take the picture, upload yes. it. Okay, I just take the picture and that's all. Yeah. Or I have to like it. I'm going to like it. Don't. Ah, then I have to put my email. <laughs> what are you going to do with my email? You're going to give it to someone? It's it's a third party service, so we don't know what's happening with your email. Ah, then that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Cool. I send my virtual picture. Let's wait for the best. Okay, right. I guess uh, nothing else. The only thing that we have to tell you is enjoy um, Drupal Jam. I hope yes. that you like uh, Splash Awards. Submit your project, you know, even though you don't think that the project is going to go somewhere. And from but here, still... yes, and oh. from here we jump to the opening at one, which is exactly oh. now. Exactly. So let's jump into the stage. Okay. Thank you everyone for attending. Have fun. See you. See you later. Bye.